Hi, my name's David, and I'm part of the solutions team here at Rigid. Today, I want to take a look at our code analysis functionality that's integrated into a number of our solutions here. Code analysis extends over both our SQL and Oracle solutions and incorporates a way for you to adopt not only best practice in way of SQL coding, but create a feedback system that's unified throughout all of our solutions, being able to, to bring that back into your team and push through best quality code. As we can see here, it's made up of a number of rules for naming conventions, best practices, deprecated syntax, so on and so forth. But let's take a, a look through where these are actually in place. So to begin with, if we load up SSMS and we create a new query, we can start to utilize the functionality in SQL Prompt. Now SQL Prompt gives us the ability to unlock code snippets, such as typing CP, leveraging the create stored procedure functionality. And we can see a preview here on the right of the script that we're about to go through. Once we do this, we can be prompted at various points that we interject in the framework to add an input. So for example, here, I'm gonna creatively name our new procedure, new proc, and come down to the next section where I'm gonna use another code snippet to leverage select star from, and then be prompt prompted with our most frequently visited environments. In this case, it's my contacts table which if we come on to over here, we'll see a preview on the right of the columns and data types present there as well for us to explore. Now, what you may notice is we have two sections within our procedure before we save this that are underlined in green. We have our asterisk in our select statement and we have our parameter being declared but never used up here as well. Both of these are flagged up as part of our code analysis work, tying into those 87 SQL best practice rules that we bring through allowing our developers an early opportunity to offer a, a potential improvement to their code as they come through. Now, if we were to execute this and pass this through our SQL change automation solution, allowing us to unlock the power of CICD and leverage automation of migration scripts, we would also in turn produce a, an output report at this point. And within that report for our changes, if we launch this here, what we can see is our SQL code issues. And again, this is done in line with that same code analysis block. So should the changes have been allowed to persist through to our next environment, we can see here for, for any changes, all of the rules that have passed and been run against that block, and then anything here, allowing us the option to feed back into the development team that we have maybe seen a less than ideal change being passed through. The last part I wanna to touch on today is SQL Monitor. And should this change have been executed and passed through to our environment, with SQL Monitor, what we're gonna be able to do is also run code analysis against our long running queries that we're examining, see if these can be optimized in any way. So if we take a look into our example instance here, we can see a number of metrics are being record, recorded, but down here, we can also see our top 10 queries at work. And if we expand out, for example, in this case, the one with the highest duration. What we can see is a section of the query plan, but we can also see that SQL Monitor is identifying four issues potentially with this query. By clicking here, we can again see our friend, the asterisk coming back up as well, as well as a couple of other issues that we've identified in conjunction with that code analysis block. We can expand these out. So should it be a more junior member of the team, someone who's not familiar with why this wouldn't be considered best practice, we can see a small example down here. And we can also link into additional online documentation from within the solution itself, launching us another section where we can read up further. I hope this has given you some insight into how code analysis not only continues throughout the Redgate solutions, but also allows you a consistent approach to code improvement throughout your entire deployment process. Thank you.